athletes, and then questions for Coach Nowski. Yeah, first, I want to congratulate University of Maryland, Coach Tillman, and his staff uh, you know, on a fabulous year. Uh, we have the utmost respect um, for Coach and, and the way he runs his program and, and who their kids are. Um, it, it, was, uh, it was an honor to compete with them today. Uh, very proud of our guys um, for, for you know, jumping, um, executing really well offensively early on, um, withstanding the run that you knew that Maryland was going to make, and then again executing, um, you know, really well, um, and with a lot of contributions from a lot of people. So I thought it was a, a real team effort, and uh, we, we're delighted to be together uh, for another two days. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know-how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on-prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877-797-8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Questions for the student athletes. Again, raise your hand if you have a question. Start in the middle and then to the right. Justin Scott coming from the Diamondback. What factored into your ability to have so much offensive success <clears throat> since the start of the game? Uh, I thought we did an incredible job with our spacing today. Um, offensively, we were... Uh, you know, it seemed like we were able to get pretty much whatever we, we wanted, but that was just, um, you know, just executing the game plan and uh, listening to the coaching staff. Um, we were able to beat the short sticks and, uh, and move it and, you know, have open shots. And, uh, you know, Dan Morris made a bunch of saves, um, but we knew if we kept shooting, they were going to fall. Uh, the right. are from Newsday. Uh, Justin, what's it like to see uh, the freshmen around you? Yeah, Coach Otis says uh, at this time of the year, um, the freshmen aren't freshmen anymore. Uh, you know, and you can you can really see that the way they're playing, they're playing confident. Uh, Nakai and, and Joe offensively have uh, done an incredible job. I think Nakai had uh, three goals in the first half. Uh, Joe finished with three, and and uh, you know one that doesn't really show up in the, in the stat sheet was uh, him riding it back in the fourth quarter. Uh, that was a huge play for us, momentum-wise, and um, you know we were able to keep possession and take a little more clock off. Um, you know, so those guys are uh, really, really coming into a into the role and starting to play like uh, a Duke man. Chris Chumsey, College Cross, Danny. <clears throat> similar result from last week, where you guys had a hot start, then Hopkins started to creep back up, only up by one. Same thing happened this this time around in Maryland, and then another fast start. What did you guys tell the defense? Um, yeah, so when you get to this time of year, it's really just about making the next play. And when you play a team like Maryland, you're not going to hold them down for an entire game. Uh, so obviously they, they made their run, um, but I think we did a really good job. And the offense did a good job possessing the ball. Brian Smith, great job at the X. Guys made plays in the middle of the field. That helped us relax a little bit. And then defensively we were able to stick to our game plan and just make the plays we needed to make and knew how to make and just execute them. Really, it was just about focusing on the next play rather than thinking about what just happened. All right. Danny, you've been through some ups and downs over your career here, but can you talk about how you're seeing the ball today and what it's like being this moment, uh, holding Maryland to under 10 goals for the first time all year? Um, yeah, felt good. Uh, I was seeing the ball today. I try to keep things for me as simple as possible, uh, just focusing on seeing the next shot. And uh, yeah, so today defense played well, have made them settle for some outside shots. Saw it and I did my job. Justin, uh, Patrick Stevens with Cross Magazine. Uh, you guys have had this habit of getting these spurts. You know, what's kind of keep that all season? And do you guys kind of know in the back of your minds or believe in the back of your minds that there's one of those three or four goals in, in five minute stretches just around the corner and pretty much any time? Uh, yeah, uh, that starts with uh, Brian Smith with the face off X. Um, and over the, the past couple of games, it's kind of been a make it take it situation. He's, he's doing an incredible job. Our wings are, um, you know, really scrapping. Uh, there was 50-50 ground balls all over the place uh, at the face-offs, and it seemed like we came up with a little more than, than they did. But, um, you know, it starts with them, and then even if they get the ball, we like to think that our defense is uh, going to make a stop and get it back to us. So um, offensively, we like to, you know, play with the, the mindset that, um, you know, we can't really be stopped. And, and guys are starting to play like that um, with, with the utmost confidence, and, uh, you know, it's, it's
It's really nice to see. In the middle. Justin, Matt, with US, uh, US <coughs> Magazine. Um, kind of piggybacking off of that, you know, they, they pulled the game within you know, a goal or two there, the momentum to their side. How much did you take it upon yourself to kind of steady the offense and continue and then push for that second gear that you reached in the second half? Yeah, um, you know, there was, there was a point where uh, the game got a little tight and I felt like I, uh, I needed to kind of take over. Um, and that wasn't the way we were playing in the first half. And, um, you know, Matt Danowski came up to me and, and just said, it's, remember, it's, it's Duke versus uh, Maryland, not you versus Maryland. Um, you know, he's, he's done that to me in the past. And um, there were, it was just a couple minutes stretch where, uh, you know, I turned it over or uh, just wasn't really playing team offense. Um, you know, that's on me. And, um, but other than that, I thought we played for, uh, you know, maybe 50, 57 minutes uh, together as a team. And, and the other three minutes is on me, and I've uh, got to do a better job of it on Monday. <coughs> yeah. Dan, you mentioned this next play mentality, taking one play at a time. For you, what was the one play in this game that made the biggest impact and the biggest difference? Uh, I mean, it's a very tough thing with one play. Um, uh, it was, I mean, there were just a bunch of different times, you know, the team balances out where sometimes we'll be getting a little bit tight on defense and the offense will score a goal and that helps, helps us settle down or for me, it'll be making the first save of the second half or just making plays like that. It's, I mean, the game is really, it's a composition of 60 minutes, so it's tough for me to pick one play. Um, but yeah, it was really just a matter of making, making plays over the course of 60 minutes and can't really think of one in particular that really changed the game for us. In the back. Wayne Viner, Jerk Talk. The game seemed very physical to me. Was that more physical than most games? And then also, I was surprised that almost the whole way through there were no penalties called. How did it look to you as a student athlete? Um, you know, we have a ton of respect for Maryland. Um, you know, we like to think of ourselves as a similar program. Um, you know, two blue blood programs going at it. Um, you know, at this time of the year, um, you know, the ball's not going to be on the ground as much. and. Um, you know, there was physical play, but uh, for the most part, it was, it was very clean. And I think there was only one penalty on each team called. And, um, you know, I thought the officiating was, was great. And they, they let us play. And, um, you know, overall, I thought it was a clean game. But, uh, you know, Maryland and Duke kept that rivalry. Uh, but, uh, you know, other than that, it was definitely clean and a respectful game. Any other questions for the student athletes in the back? What does it mean to play one last game with this group of guys? Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, when you set out at the beginning of the year, the goal, um, Justin did a big part of it, we never really shy away from setting our goal to win a national championship. Um, so to get another two days with this group of guys and to get a chance, both of our last year, to play for that goal that we set, really what is the epitome of greatness in college across is uh, you really couldn't ask for more. Couldn't ask for a better group of guys to do it with and couldn't ask for a better place to do it. One more up front. Danny, you've played in a lot of stadiums with Nicole, and this is probably your first in an NFL stadium. Do you have any slight line challenges when seeing you know, the, the other offense working along? Any the challenges you see compared to like, different stadiums? Um, no, not really, especially because the backdrop here is all dark. Um, yeah, it wasn't a problem at all uh, for me. But, I mean, yeah, no, it, was, uh, it was fine. No problems there. Didn't even really think about it today. Thank you, Justin and Danny. You guys are